Normally when I make one of these commentary style videos, I usually have this playing in the background, some sort of gameplay footage. Where I then show up, show up? No, throw up screenshots and other things needed to prove my point and arguments. But for this particular video, I think we need to change the setup a tad. For this particular video, I decided to do it this way because, quite frankly, what I have seen is just fucking... Uh... Quite frankly, I just can't be fucked writing a script at this point. I just cannot be bothered. I cannot be asked writing a script. I mean, I'm still trying to write the fucking Kick Vic Part 2 script. I'm, not, I'm only on, like, page three of that. I'm still trying to write that script while I'm feeling like shit. I, I am not feeling 100%... I'm feeling miserable as fuck, actually. I'm feeling completely miserable. Wanting to kill myself. I'm just feeling absolutely fucking lousy. The only reason I'm continuing this thing is because I started and I'm not fucking stopping until I've properly completed it. But this is going to be considered a side video. <laughs> I'm out of fucking lolly. And the main topic for this video is a dude who I already brought up in the last video, which is ISWV Reports. Who, if you remember, m made this stupid tweet involving Robonite, and also made this fucking poll. Which is the very definition of targeted harassment. But why am I bringing up ISWV Reports today? Well, because I got given this by someone else who I brought up, who was a member of Icema Vic, named Exile, or Hillium. And what was given to me was... Like... I don't even know how to process this. Because I've already covered reports in the last video. I already covered him. I thought I was done there. Turns out, no. I'm not done. Reporters decided to go after Hillian for the following reasons. <laughs> or in other words, he's basically got nothing better to do other than looking at Monica Ryle dressing up as slave Princess Leia. Let's not picture that. Or what? Yeah, that's too late for that. <laughs> So this was not planned. I've not written a script. I'm literally doing all this freestyle. And this is the first time I'm actually doing it off of a camera because usually I'm using headphones with the built-in microphone. I'm this is what I use for all my things. I mean I used to use the Blue Yeti. Uh reason I went back to using my headphones, uh voice sounded better. That's Basically my argument on another lolly. But I want you to check out this screenshot. I want you to read it and process it. You done? Good. Okay. Now, I have scrolled through Hillian's Twitter. From what I have seen, no once has he made a stupid racist remark as reports has claimed. He hasn't. He really hasn't. But here's the other thing about reports that I feel like needs to be covered, which is that he claims to A, be calling people out via reporting them when it's bullshit, and two, that Hillian has harassed people. Yes, he has very much harassed people. This video quite clearly shows him harassing people. <gasps> he wished someone happy birthday. <gasps> oh, the humanity! Seriously? It doesn't exactly take Detective William Murdoch of the Toronto Constabulator to see who is speaking bullshit. Quite clearly, ISWB reports. So since he also has a go at these three. Wait, for some stupid 
fucking bullshit. There are three other accounts reports called out. Kickvick losers, Kickvick debunked, why are you in this list, and Kickvick fuck off. Um, I'm gonna get to those three in a little bit. However, Hillian does show this as well as a screenshot of that Hillian has gone private, which he has every fucking right to, because this is bullshit. This is fucking bullshit. It's Oh, for fuck's sakes. And Dillian also has a point about reports as well, which is that... And I've shown this already. That reports harasses people by terminating them. But here's the other thing. This is something else that has happened. Which is... Reports has been stalking Hillian's account. So that's already a problem, and has also been trying to get rid of him. He's just been constantly going after him, which is targeted harassment. I I'm sorry, if you're gonna start spouting bullshit and saying how this isn't targeted harassment, what reports is doing, then quite clearly you are a fucking moron. Either that, or your head's up his ass. There's only one of the two. Honestly, I find it really stupid and also quite hypocritical of reports as well, because he has got all of these people that he's going after for harassing and targeted harassment That is literally what you're fucking doing you stupid pleb Silly, all you have to do is look All you have to do is look at Naport's Twitter And then look at Hillian's, look at Shiny Eevee, look at W Sakura Look at any fucking member of the I stand with Vic community. And that's not even the worst part. Reports even brings up the fact that Hillian gave a Metal Lord his alt account. And, uh, and he's now going after him. So not only is he going after Hillian, but he's also going after Metal Lord as well, who has also gone private because of this. Oh. I feel like somebody has been in their moniker Ryle shrine too long. And has also gone through way too many tissues. Just because Hillian gave Metal Lord his account, how does that really affect you? Especially when that person isn't even talking about this shit. Here's something else I need to point out. Reports, you even went after his friend D, who wants nothing to do with the stupid ISWV Kickvick drama bullshit, which Hillian respects. Hell, even I fucking respect it. The only reason I'm involved in this is because of this particular crap. Exile also addresses that he finds it funny, and it is quite comical, that Kickvick has an ISWV report Ports account for harassing other people until they are suspended. Yet ISWV doesn't have a KV reports account. Like you can Google, not Google, search up Kickvick reports, nothing. Because there isn't one. I stand with Vic doesn't condone this type of behavior. They don't. Anyone who does that type of behavior in the I stand with Vic community would be dis owned by Vic himself. That type of behavior is not condoned in the slightest. It is nowhere near acceptable. So it's kind of funny how you think it is perfectly a-okay to make an ISWV reports account to do it. When the people you're going after, their only crime is them being fans of Vic Minoga. Which is so fucking stupid. That is not enough for them to be terminated. It isn't. It's so fucking stupid. And yet you decided to make this fucking poll because, um, brainless moron. I'm sorry, but trying to wrap your head around this, it's a nightmare. It's hell. It's really hell because you can't. It is so fucking stupid. The fact that it's gotten this far is ridiculous. I was also point out that Hillian also further pointed out that if 
ISWV made a KickVic Reports account, then KickVic would have a bitch about that account being targeted harassment. Do you guys see the double standard here? It's perfectly fine for them to have an account that reports ISWV, but if ISWV made an account that reported Kick Vic, they're the bad guys. It, what? And the fuck? And the thing that blows my mind even more is that these dipshits try to present themselves as being the good guys. You're fucking not. Not even close. This lady is more of a good person than you people. And that's saying something because this woman's demented. I also find it rich how reports makes this tweet. Having a bitch about Isomovic having accounts like Kickvic Losers, Kickvic Debunked, and Kickvic Fuck Off. And has a bitch at them saying not to act like they have the moral high ground. Yeah. Hi, um, do you see the sword? Yeah, I'm gonna whack you with it. And just to clarify, I mean with that end. Not that end, I technically can't use it as a weapon legally. Although if someone did try and break into my house and kill me, I would use it as a weapon to defend myself. I still can't get over the fact that this sword cost me 160 bucks. Oh, and it's real metal, by the way. It's legitimately real metal. It's a prop sword. I fucking love it. Stupid sword business aside, this is so fucking stupid. Like, it doesn't take a genius to spot who really believes they have the moral high ground is. All members of I Stand With Vic want to do is just be left alone and support their favorite voice actor. What? you people want is to have them all fucking kicked off of Twitter and every other social media platform. And good luck trying to do that with me because I am not a member of I Stand With Vic. And I'm also not a member of Kick Vic either. I, in fact, I said that in the last fucking video. Plus, let's go back to these three accounts you named reports. They are harmless. I don't think you do any fucking research. You just see a member of I Stand With Vic, you're like, Yep, he's an evil person, you must be removed. When you do far less research than Chris Hansen, who's fucking inept at his job. What exactly has Hillian done that warrants you going after him, as well as block evading? What warrants that? What proper proof do you have? to warrant this behavior. I'm more than happy to view it. I'm more than happy to view your evidence to back up your claim as to why he should be reported. I don't know why you're going after his fucking friend. Like, there you can just fuck off. But in regards to the Hillian, show me why he deserves to be reported. And if you come back with bullshit that he can easily debunk, or just the fact that he's a member of I Stand With Vic, you're a fucking idiot. Or if I, look at the evidence and read it, and it's not as bad as you're making it out to be, then, which is pretty much what I'm expecting it to be, to be honest. You're just taking the tiniest thing and just blowing it totally out of proportion. <sighs> it's like seeing my fucking iron eyes again. What's that Latvian idiot up to anyway? You will return that previous game. Just up and go and get your knock back. You will return that game, because you stole it! You freaking stole the game! Meh. Hillian also talks about what these three accounts that report brings up, what he brings up what they do. Here's what they do. Kickvic losers shows your sign for being utter fucking hypocrites. Threat level, harmless. Kickvic debunked. Basically providing receipts to any accusation or allegation against Vic and debunking it. Threat level harmless. Kick Vic fuck off. An account that basically shows their hatred for members of Kick Vic by showing how absolutely fucking disgusting you people are 
when you're sending fucking death threats, as well as defending abusers. And not only that, but you even tell people they fucking kill themselves. Seriously? Third level of kickback, fuck off. Harmless. I have some of reports. Harmful and dangerous. Proof. Fucking look. That's the whole kick Vic group. I'm not going to agree with this fucking thing. It says it all. Also, you can't have a bitch about kick Vic losers when you have an account called I Stand With Vic Fail that does the exact same fucking thing. That is A, hypocrisy, and B, double standards. And the fact you think it's perfectly A-OK -okay what you're doing is just... No. You are quite literally harassing people. That's against Twitter's terms of service. And yet, for some stupid fucking reason, probably because Twitter's fucking in at this shit, I some of Vic fans are the ones having their accounts terminated. For what reason? Other than being fans of Vic Minogue. Like, what have all these accounts truly done that truly warranted them being terminated? Also, let's be real here. While granted, I don't exactly agree with this, Honestly, I don't. It is warranted. Like, it is very fucking warranted. Your account reports deserves to be terminated. It deserves to be shut down for good. It doesn't do anything but piss people off and just ruin people's lives and days. Though, then again, I wouldn't be surprised considering it's Kick Vic. And from the shit I've seen of you people, you're not good people. You're not the good guys. From the shit I have seen of you people, you are absolutely disgusting. And I feel bad for all the Kickvick members who aren't like this. Who are just there going, I don't support Vic, I don't like him, fuck him, and just carry on with the day. Those type of people I feel so bad for because they get associated to you people and they get thought for being exactly like them. It is so fucking ridiculous. It is ridiculous, it is stupid, and quite frankly, you need to pull your head out your ass. Reports, you are literally going after someone who doesn't do what you claim is, and not only that, but you're also dragging in their friends who want fuck all to do with this bullshit. Even after Hillian went private, you went after his friends. Like, dude, what the fuck? From all of this, reports, you need to get a fucking life. And for me, perfectly honest, that's rich coming from me, considering I don't have one myself, but at least I have a fucking job where I work 50 hours a week. At least I have a job. At least I'm actually going out. From what I'm seeing of you, reports, you're not. You're just being an irritating troll and douche. I want this to be a lesson to people. Don't be like reports. Don't be some stupid, double standard, hypocritical asshat who does this shit. Because there is no justification whatsoever for reports doing this. None whatsoever. And whatever justification he does try to bring up, the counter evidence is. Look through Exile's timeline. The proof is there. The problem is, it's Kick Vic and they like to spin a stupid fucking fairy tale. They'll take a simple thing and just twist it into something that is clearly bollocks. It is so ridiculous and it is so stupid. I just... All this really does is cement the reason why I decided to have a bitch at Kick Vic in the first place. All this does, because that is wrong on so many levels. It needs to be addressed. It needs to be called out. Because these people don't care. These people are just trolls. At the end of the day, that's all they are. They're just trolls. They're trolls who think they're the good guys. When in actuality, you're the fuckers that started this shit. You're the ones that started this war. Which no one wanted to be fucking a part of, by the way. 
You are effectively the storm guards of Skyrim against the Empire. You think what you're doing is right, when in actuality, it's the opposite. All you're doing is causing more problems than making solutions. And the fact you can't see that... <sighs> I'd cover more of this, but... I'd be here all day. I'd be here all day. It is just... So... Fucking... Annoying. It's so annoying. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back through Hillian's Twitter thread... His Twitter page. Find all the things I'm after, screenshot them, and put them in a Google Drive. And then... I will leave the link to that in the description. I'll also put it over on my Twitter as well. Speaking of which, if... Reports does try and come up to my Twitter, um... Good luck with that. I'm barely fucking on there. In fact, 2022 is the most active I've ever been on Twitter. And 2020 was the most active I'd ever been on YouTube. I don't tweet that often. If ever. Usually if I do send a message on Twitter, it's usually just commenting on shit. And even that's rare. Like I'm usually just on Twitter just looking at what's going on. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, that's porn. That's all I'm doing. Nothing I do is targeted harassment. It's not. It's me talking about certain things and giving off my thoughts. And my thoughts basically come out like this. And quite frankly, I just... Yeah. I'm ending it. I just want this shit over. I'm gonna get back to working on Kickvick Part 2. I'm gonna bring up Monica Ryle, her fiance, Ron Toye, as well as BT Underground. Who doesn't have me blocked, by the way. And neither does reports, as I've recorded this video. <laughs> Though no doubt that it'll all change. And I don't care. Honestly, I couldn't give a fuck, because... I mean, why should I care? Why should I care about a hypocritical, double-standard ass? Why should I care? I'm ending this video, I've got nothing else to do. Here, I'm just done. There'll be a Google Drive in the description. Um... Yeah, this video probably would have been better... Uh... With this. There's some gameplay footage. Probably even better with this as well. <sighs> I just... I'm gonna be fucked! But with that said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I hope you guys are enjoying me talking about Kick Vic as well. Um, I'm getting back into script 2. So don't worry. That will be coming out shortly. But until then... Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Keep up with me at Daily Gang and keep up with my friends Manny in the house, Gun Special Theory, aka Nightmare with Anime Roar, Sun Gazer, aka Naruto Uzumaki, Ashra Gamiya, and I'm the Camper Nerd. And as always, I'm Taylor Gang, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>